welcome to this video tutorial in this video I shall be demonstrating how to calculate support reactions this is for structures involving moments only so assume I have a beam AB span L on which a moment is acting anti in anti-clockwise direction there will be reactions developed to maintain a stable equilibrium so to uh, avoid the tilting of the beam now for anti-clockwise moment this will as you can see this moment is in anti-clockwise direction so it will deflect the beam AB in the anti-clockwise sense and so as to us oppose or to maintain the equilibrium and equilibrium status of the beam there will be two moments two forces acting in the opposite direction of the moment that will take the beam back to its original shape and these two moments are become our support reactions at A and B uh, suppose now for anti-clockwise moment this is just the opposite case that may be saw previously in this, in this case the moment is acting in the anti-clockwise direction it is going like this the anti-clockwise direction and so it will deflect the beam up, up here and down here so now so now to maintain the equilibrium or to maintain the stable condition there will be two forces acting in opposite directions that will turn the beam back to its original position as you can see it's back to its original position Calculation of support reaction for a beam with anti-clockwise moment in conventional method that is by using the equilibrium conditions equations. Suppose assume the same beam AB of span L and the same anti-clockwise moment acting on it and the position of the uh, moment doesn't matter which I shall explain in the next slides. Now we have what we have is the equilibrium conditions summation moment of x is equal to 0 moment at y equal to 0 moment at summation moment is equal to summation forces in y and summation of forces in x is 0 so now what I next have is considering moment at a at this point consider the moment at a so this considering moment at a therefore minus m this is minus because it is in anti-clockwise direction and our sign conventions are anti-clockwise and this is clockwise we take anti-clockwise as negative and clockwise as positive so this moment is moving in anti-clockwise direction so its direction is minus and now RB this is a span and B will uh, I'll take it over here this is a span, total span perpendicular length and B will rotate it like this in the anti-clockwise direction so it again comes to be in anti-clockwise sense so it's also minus and RB multiplied by the span L span L and as we saw the equilibrium conditions as we saw the equilibrium condition moment at A is equal to 0 so the 0 comes here Now the next part is therefore moment at B. Now rearranging these terms, we get moment R B. Uh, reaction at R B is M by L. Now next we use is what is this 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 equilibrium equation? Summation moment at y equal to zero. And as you can see, there are only two forces. One in F Y is in up I is in upward, and R B is also in upward. Let me remind you, these are the assumed directions. As you can see, RB is negative. This implies that RB is acting in the downward direction. That is, RB is in the downward direction. So, therefore, by using the equilibrium condition, RA plus RB is equal to zero. Now, substituting RA in this RB in this equation, we get R. 
Mare and as you can see the direction is positive positive implies that the assumed directions are correct and RB is in this in this uh, in the in the upward direction only so now I shall be marking this is positive and RB is in downward direction This is the final solution. R A is plus M by L and R B is minus M by L as we can see from here. Then here is the shortcut. Uh, we actually followed that long procedure now. Here is the shortcut to it. Same beam R A M A M B A B and moment is acting. Now we had seen in the animation a few minutes ago for anti-clockwise directions as the deflection moment is in the anti-clockwise sense the true force is now the reaction should be in opposite sense let me remind you I had previously said this is the beam and this is the moment acting on it so the reactions develop shall be one to oppose this way and the other this way so the same happens over here and they, they get back to its original position that is like this so and the magnitudes the, can be derived from the formulas we observed a few minutes ago formulas formulas that were we observed a few minutes ago is R A M upon L and RB minus M upon L and the position of the moment doesn't matter this uh, whether this uh, moment is at moment is acting at over here over here over here or over here or anywhere on the beam as long as it's on the beam the position doesn't matter whether it is anywhere on the beam and the direction of this moment and the direction of these reactions these reactions is fixed by the depends on these the moment uh, direction of these directions depends this uh, the direction of these reactions depends on the direction of this moment if it's uh, anti clockwise the reaction shall be one like this and the other like this and if it is clockwise the direction shall be one like this and one like this so what you need to remember is however the couple is if the arrow of the couple is like this in the upward direction the other shall be in the downward direction to neglify this to neutralize the action of this moment and the other shall be like this get to the next slide now the position of the moment has no significance as I previously mentioned it may the moment may be at the center at the right or at the left the position has no different makes no difference on the magnitude of the reactions and the only thing changes is the direction the direction of the reactions and which is dependent on the sense of the sense of the moment if it's anti clockwise these both will be this will be up and this will be down now what if there is more than one moment on a beam suppose this is the loading diagram three moments m1 m2 and m3 are acting on a beam as shown in the figure now to calculate the reaction just take just find the resultant moments by taking the summation this uh, just by taking the summation of these moments now we have to take the summation moment mr is equal to m1 m1 plus m2 plus m3 let me remind you we had taken sign conventions as anti clockwise negative and clockwise as positive so while substituting over here we have to see that m1 and m2 are anti-clockwise so both will have minus and m3 
is in the clockwise so it will have plus as it is so this is what is the final this is what the final loading diagram shall look appear like and uh, we calculated the moments from the formula we previously saw which is m r a is equal to m by m r by l and r b is equal to m r minus m r by l now let's take an example how it works suppose we have a 50 kN meter uh, moment acting at a beam a position that doesn't matter of our, as, as long as it's within the span of the reactions the position of the beam uh, moment doesn't matter at all so RA and RB are the reactions for this uh, for this moment now and anti-clockwise moment is acting on the beam and we have to find the support reactions so this 50 kN beam couple will deflect the beam in anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction now the magnitude of this the magnitude of this support reaction will be the magnitude of the moment divided by this divided by the span between the supports the previous formula m by l now we shall see it now in simple words r a a reaction at a is equal to 50 50 is the moment divided by 5 5 is the span which gives us the answer as which is equal to 10 is the answer similarly we can calculate for rb is just with the negative sign now this is the final result of what how the beam shall look like all right going upwards positive positive sign so it's going upward at the same time it's negative so rb is actually pulling it downwards now what if the loading is a combination of uh, two more than one moment that is here you can see 50 kN anti-clockwise 10 kN meter anti-clockwise and 30 kN meter uh, clockwise so here actually we have to calculate in, it in uh, two steps first step is convert the combination into single resultant moment considering this anti-clockwise as negative anti-clockwise negative clockwise as positive you can see 50 is negative the minus 10 is negative and 30 is positive so the addition of these gives us minus 30 kilo newton meter and final moment is minus 30 kilo newton meter and the negative sign implies that it is in anti-clockwise direction so the second step is use the formula and calculate the reactions as per illustration one as i've shown in the list previous illustration we just need to we just need to calculate it the same way now the 30 kN is acting in anti-clockwise direction so to oppose it the reactions will be developed which will be as per the animation like this it's moved up and it's moved down so now the reaction shall be developed now the magnitude of the support reaction will be the magnitude of the moment magnitude of the moment m which in this case is 30 divided by the span between the moment that is span is here is 5 meter so divided by 5 which gives us 6 kN so two reactions to neutralize the effect of the moment and in simple words so you can see the arrow 6 kN is acting in the upward direction and minus 6 kN that is acting in the downward direction so this is the resultant this 6 kN is positive implies that the reaction is in the vertically upward direction and minus 6 implies that the reaction is in the vertically downward direction <laughs>